let's start by reviewing the digraph sounds today instead of our regular letters and sounds. So looking at TH, remember you make that sound by putting your tongue between your top and your bottom teeth. This is the sound for TH. The sound for SH is shh, like you're telling someone to be quiet. Shh. That's the SH sound. The CH sound is like a choo-choo train. And the WH sound is like in wheel, going around and around. Wheel. All right. So let's take a look at your high frequency words. Then we're going to jump into Hegarty and we're going to talk more about digraphs. Was, were, new, your two new ones, but, up, for, and, had it the has in he a is him and on. All right, back to digraphs. You can hear a lot of digraphs. Um, the first thing we're gonna do, Hegarty's switching it up a little bit today. The first thing we're gonna do is if you hear a rhyming pair. I want a thumbs up. If it doesn't rhyme, it's a thumbs down. We've done this before. All right. Like chip and trip. Yes, they rhyme. Shock, flock. Whip, white. No, they don't rhyme. They start with the same sound, that WH sound. Whip and white, but they don't rhyme. This, miss. Chop, clock. No, they don't rhyme. When, then, that, flat, chest, best, shell, shoe. They don't rhyme. They do start with that same sh, sh digraph, but they don't rhyme. Chick, stick. They do rhyme. All right. Now, we're going to start with what sound do you hear at the beginning of a word? We've done this before. You touch the top of your head, the beginning, okay? So the word is chest. It's going to be a digraph sound. It's going to be ch for that ch sound. Ch. Shed. Ch. This. Shell. Ch. Thin. When. W thunder chin ch, that and whip w. all right now this is very similar to what you've been doing i'm going to chop up the word into its three sounds but there will be a digraph at the beginning so are you ready ch ick what did you hear chick right chick the an, van, sh, ut, shut, sh, ack, shack, ch, ip, chip, sh, elf, shelf, ch, imp, chimp, that was tricky because it has a blend at the end too, ump, thump, w, is, whiz, Unk. Junk. All right, some of those had more than three sounds. They were a little bit tricky. All right, you've done this before too. You are punching out the last sound you hear. But the last sound you hear will be a digraph, like in the word fish. It'll do fish. All right, with. With. Cloth. Cloth. Gush. Gush. Inch, inch, which, which, fresh, fresh, touch, touch, fifth, fifth, crash, crash. There we go. All right, now get your choppers out because it's your turn. All right, there will be digraphs, so get ready. The word I want you to tell me, all the sounds you hear, it's the word. Thick. Ick. 
Tell me all the sounds in chef, sh, f, thumb, um, shock, sh, ock, chop, ch, up. It chopped up the word chop. Shut, sh, ut, wham, w, am, chill, ch, ill, them, v, m. Wheat, w, eat. There you go. And now we are substituting. And we'll be substituting phonemes. We're going to start with the word ship. We're going to change the sh to a ch. Chip. Thin, change the th to a sh. Shin. Chum, change the ch to a th. Thumb. Shop, change the sh to a ch. Chop, chick, change the ch to a th. thick. So it's very similar to what you've been doing. We're just talking about digraph sounds now. All right, we are doing the same thing, starting with the, the ending part of the word, ed, and we're adding a digraph to the beginning. Sh, shed, sh, ed, shed. If, add, w, with, at, add, v, that. In, add, ch, chin, ick, add, th, thick. Now we're taking the digraph away from the beginning. So we've got the word chat. We're taking away the ch, we still have at. Which, take away the w, we still have itch. Shelf, take away the sh, we still have elf. Thin, take away the th, we still have in. And than, take away the v. You still have Anne. Little Boy Blue is the one we're going to review. This whole week we're going to review um, nursery rhymes that we've done in the past. So this is Little Boy Blue. Little Boy Blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow. The cow's in the corn. Where's the little boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack fast asleep. All right, good job today. A lot of new things to think about, but you did great.